Hey, what's up everybody? It's Cole with barbwiredigital8.com. Shoot another video for you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click on the bell notification. That way every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. So I wanted to give you an update on the channel, what I'm gonna be doing. So basically there's three areas that each person has that's an evergreen area. And those areas are health, wealth, and relationships. Can't believe I forgot that one. Anyway, I'm gonna start doing calls. So I'm gonna put in the description underneath this video how you guys can jump on the calls. Here's where I want to take the channel. So on Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm gonna be doing basically a call. If anybody wants to watch it, it's gonna be about one of those three things, health, wealth, and relationships. So it'll probably be a free conference call. I'll put a link to how you can get on at 7 p.m. Eastern. Then on Saturdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm gonna be doing a wealth call. This is basically gonna be a live call on YouTube. And you guys can log in, you can chat, and I'm gonna do a presentation for you guys of different ways that you, what you're already doing, the life you're already living, how you can make money doing what you're already doing without putting any money out of pocket. So if you're a person that, let's say you need a miracle in your life and you're looking for something, then you're on the right channel. So I'm a metaphysician, I'm working on my PhD right now and a doctorate of divinity at the University of Metaphysics in Sedona. Currently live in Bluffton, South Carolina. I'm right about three miles from Hilton Head. So Saturday at one o'clock is going to be about wealth building skills. And then Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to do a twin flame call. I've noticed that the blogs and the writing, different stuff, I kind of hopped off Quora there. But there is a almost non-existent nature to the divine masculine. And I'm going to start doing some tarot card stuff for you guys which I know that the Divine Feminines will be very happy to get a Divine Masculine point of view. I have kind of a unique point of view. I was born on the same birthday as my grandmother's sister who died. So I believe that part of her soul has reincarnated in mine. I've always had uh, a very good ability to use my intuition to know what people want and to understand both men and women on a very deep level. And as far as I'm concerned, the worst thing right now is that everybody gets played against themselves. I mean, if you're watching this channel, I would say, do you think that there's something wrong about this world? I believe that people inherently are good. And I believe that people inherently know in their heart, you know when you're doing something right or wrong. So, the fact is, ask yourself a couple of simple questions. No one wants to be broke. No one wants to have their heart ripped out. You know, no one wants to have their taxes raised high, right? So let's just use the tax one. If you go out and you ask people, hey, do you think we should raise taxes? I mean, you'd like to pay more taxes, right? Everybody's gonna say no, literally everybody's gonna say no. So if everybody says no, then why is nothing getting fixed? And right now I'm shooting some videos about the hermetic principles because it gives you a foundation for mindset. And all the religious texts, all the guru stuff, all that stuff, it doesn't do you any good unless you have a map key. And the map key is gonna be the point of view so you can understand your place in the cosmos, what the rules of metaphysics are of the universe, Life is a game. Whether it's a game you win or lose, it's up to you. I'm not saying it's not influenced by the world is in a bad way. And right now we got the coronavirus, got everybody freaked out. So my wealth calls that I'm going to do on Saturdays are going to show you how you can make money 
from home on your phone at the internet. Most people join and watch the channel and do it, you know, via mobile phone. What I believe is going on right now, and I'm going to stay very streamlined. So what that means is I'm going to hit those three evergreen health, wealth, and relationships. That's all I'm going to go over. So if you stay glued to this channel and don't get sidetracked with other channels and stuff like that, at some point you're going to have that aha. It's just going to click. You kind of going to realize what it is that you had the wrong viewpoint on. And once you have the right viewpoint and you have the map key, the game becomes easy. Just think about playing, you know, Candyman or Monopoly. If you didn't know the rules, man, there'd be no way you could win, right? Well, let me tell you, they don't teach you the rules. Everybody needs money. Everybody needs to know how to earn money, how you get rewarded with more money. And none of that stuff's taught in school. Now, that's crazy, right? I mean, if it's, uh, let's look at it like this. No one watching this channel and no one who's making videos for this channel, including me, got here without sex. So sex education is taught in school, right? Even though parents can teach their kids whatever they want. It's also taught in school. However, there is zero taught about finance unless you go to college for that. Ooh, it's flooded, it's been raining down here. I wanna get my feet wet. I'll take a little, show you a little shot. We've had so much rain. The weather's been really strange. All right, so anyway, you are in it, when you're in the education system, what they do is they teach you to be an employee to work you know per hour and you get a certain amount of pay and then you work forever and there's a million channels you know about this kind of stuff I'm not going to go into all that everybody realizes that they're underpaid for what they can do so what I want you to if you get one thing out of this video what I want you to do is this I want you to go to your friends first of all any of these videos you like I want you to share it with everybody you can because the more people that subscribe and the more views I get, the more reach I get and the more people I can help. So I need your assistance right now. I'm at 105 subscribers. I want to say thank you to you guys for that. It was very exciting last night. It popped up and said 100 and then I got up this morning and said 105. I was like, wow. So thank you again. Blessings to all, everyone. So basically you are just think of yourself as an antenna. You're a conduit. You're a conduit for whatever your nervous system is tuned into. Basically, think of your nervous system, including your brain, as a radio station. And there's all kinds of radio stations playing all the time, but the only one that you can hear is whatever one you're turned into or tuned into. I'm going to admit I was more brainwashed than probably everybody. I had a big ego problem. I thought I was right all the time. My family is very much about being right more so than being happy. I've seen my family literally spend weeks over something that didn't matter just to prove to other people that they were right. It doesn't really matter. When you're on your deathbed, and let me tell you, I've been there a couple times, you don't care about any of that. You care about, do I have any regrets? Do I have anything to, you know, wish I would have done? So do that now. So here's what you do. When you share the video, to all your friends, post it on your social media, all that kind of stuff. You're going to build a network. Start doing that now because here's the thing. One of the universal laws of metaphysics is correspondence, but it's also value. What is value? You know, they always talk about value in all these different online affiliate marketing and all this other kind of stuff. And believe me, the easiest way for you to grow a following in a business is YouTube. And I will be shooting videos that show you how you can get software for free that is top of the line. You don't have to do anything weird. It's an open source. I'm going to show you guys how to edit different stuff and basically run an entire business. If you haven't checked it out yet, check out my video on how to get a free website in 90 seconds using artificial intelligence. Literally, you can get a free website. So value is basically teaching. The more people that you teach something to, to help them help themselves, we'll come back to you. It's, you know, it's the law of 10. So, you know, when they talk about giving a 10th when you go to a church or synagogue or temple or whatever, 
you give 10%. Whatever you give out, you're going to get back tenfold. So when you help other people out of the goodness of your heart, then the universe is going to bend your dimension and bring stuff in to help you grow your teaching. So when you talk to these friends and you, you know, share the videos and this and that, and you're chatting with people, ask your friends too, hey, what would you come to me for? You know, if you had a problem about a certain subject and you were like, man, I really need help with this. What am I going to do? Oh, you know, I, I need to call Alice, you know, or I need to call Barbara, or I need to call Chad. Ask your friends, ask your family what it is that you are super good at. What would they come to you for advice for? That is probably what your gift is. Number two, also think about this. What is the one subject that you could shoot videos about, talk about, write about, post about, whatever? What is it that you never get bored of? Me, it's people. People are interesting. I've met all kinds of very interesting people. I had very interesting people in my family. And somewhere down the road, I'm gonna do a video on my uncle. I did a little mini video here on the channel, but my uncle's name was Terry Thompson. He died, I believe, on the 18th of October, 2011. If you look up Terry Thompson, Zanesville, Ohio, you will see that he had 63 exotic animals, lions, tigers, bears, mountain lions, black panthers. He was a door gunner in Vietnam. Sold Harleys, sold guns, you know, was a very righteous guy. He was married to my aunt for a very long time. And, you know, he came back from Vietnam after having to kick his friends off the landing gear because the chopper only holds eight people. Maybe nine. A Huey. I wear this bracelet. This is a tail rotor chain off of a Huey gunship, Vietnam era. My uncle wore one home from the war. Once eight people got on, he'd have to kick his own guys off the landing gear because hundreds of them were trying to get on because they knew they didn't have a minute to wait for the next one. And one day I asked him, I said, what was the worst thing about being in Vietnam? He said, it wasn't killing people. I'd go through 2,500 bullets in three minutes, but it was me or them. He goes, what was hard is that after my buddies got on and I had to go out and take my boot and kick their hands or take the butt of my gun and hit them in the face and knock them off. And these are his friends, you know, people that probably just had a kid. You know, they'd come over and drafted. And then once the guys on the ground that couldn't get on the chopper were out of bullets, the Viet Cong that were chasing them, they didn't want to waste their bullets. So they would just bayonet them all to death, stab them to death underneath his helicopter. And he lived with awful PTSD. We used to go to the fair in Zanesville, Ohio. And if a tractor backfired, he'd be on the ground. You know, he literally thought it was an air raid, whatever going on. Anyway, he knew that the world wasn't a kind place. And if you believe that people are inherently good, they know good and bad, and the world's a rough place, then that's because it's been designed that way. The balance of wealth is not even, it's not fair, and they don't teach it. I have kind of a unique viewpoint because I came from a family that was very wealthy. However, they don't have a wealth mindset. And you can be handed just like people in the lottery, and I'm by no means wealthy. I've been very poor, actually, for a long time. It's why people who win the lottery end up going broke in a couple years, because they don't have the right mindset. So value, the more value you provide, the more the universe is gonna reward you, or God. I refer to it as the great spirit, I'm very attached to my seminal Indian stuff. Give me a second here. Sorry about that. I had a passerby in the woods. So, good sign. You guys probably need to hear this. That's why people in the lottery, they win it, and then they lose it very, very quickly because they spend it. So it is the flow of money that generates wealth. 
So the more value the, you provide, the more money that comes to you. And then when you take that money and reinvest it in yourself and in helping the community and people, then it gets amplified. And so basically you're compounding your money. The more people you help, the more you grow, the more you grow, the more wealth is attracted to you. Wealth is not something that you have to go out and work 45 jobs. Just so you know, and the reason that I started this channel is that in 1950s, after World War II, the average family had one worker, it was the man. The average income for that house was $58,000 in today's dollars adjusted. Right now, the average family has both parents working or both spouses or lovers. And the average household income, I believe, is $42,000. And $42,000 buys a lot less now than it did in 1953. So people are hurting and it's not getting any better. And the coronavirus that's out right now, I believe, is a distraction. I, I don't personally believe it's as big as a threat as everybody talks about. 40,000 people a year die from the flu. We're nowhere near that. But all of the money in the world is basically based off the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar has taken the place of gold backing. And the U.S. dollar, we're so far in debt that we can't even pay the interest that we owe China. And we're spending $300 trillion a year. They are in the process here in the next few years of taking everything from paper money into cryptocurrency. That necessarily means it's going to be Bitcoin. Bitcoin's popular right now. But for anybody who doesn't think Bitcoin is going to be around for a bit, the state of Ohio has been taking Bitcoin as payment for taxes for the last, I believe, three years. The infrastructure on that cost them millions, millions, probably tens of millions of dollars. They're not doing that for a whim, for something that's going to disappear. So I believe why everyone's worried that, you know, they're going to die, and I definitely think people should take precautions that all that's a distraction because there's a lot of activity going on. So you're talking about every transaction that the human race makes now being done through crypto. And it hasn't hit yet the big wave. So crypto is one of those things that I'm gonna be talking about. I have a couple of businesses that I'm personally in. One of them is a philanthropic business that's based on the principle of pay it forward kind of like tithing at church, helping your fellow man. And it teaches you how to do remote skills. They call them soft skills now, you know, like software skills, uh, you know, remote assistance, virtual assistance, uh, virtual admins, you know, virtual executives, whatever, you know, you can be your own CEO. And they literally teach you how to do that. Some of the other countries that aren't in as bad a shape as the US, like Germany, they took all of their money after World War II and they dumped it into the technical training of their, of their citizens. And most people aren't aware, but if I remember right, something like 50% of all the money made from every iPhone goes to Germany. Most people think it's China. But the actual stuff that costs a lot goes to them. And that country is gaining a lot of wealth because of that. So without this video getting too long, I'll just kind of do a recap here. This channel is going to be about health, wealth, and relationships. There will be calls on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everything's Eastern because that's where I am. Number two, uh, Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what the Wednesday call is going to be yet. I haven't decided. But the Saturday call is going to be about wealth, wealth strategies. The Sunday call at 7 is going to be about uh, twin flame and metaphysical stuff. I'm a whole Pono Pono certified practitioner. I also put the uh, my email, my phone number a lot on this channel. So if anybody's interested in any sort of consultations, uh, it's usually pretty easy to get a hold of me. So that's pretty much where we are. So if you stick to this channel, remember, every every thought is in the ether. It's in a different direction. And what you want to do is you only get a certain amount of energy, divine energy. You know, if you go work out after a certain period of time, you get tired. So every time you're distracted, 
and your thoughts go somewhere else. You're putting energy toward that, towards that. So, you know, where attention goes, energy flows, and you have a certain limited amount of energy because you're not the great spirit. We, we're all the great spirit. It flows through us. It operates through us. We're just an expression, just like a hair on your head is part of a larger entity called us. So is the human race, and this is what all the religions have intact. However, religions are very good. Nothing's killed more human beings on this planet than the fight over religion and the fight between governments, and it's just a waste of time. People want to be happy. That's what they want. So if you stick to the channel, at some point, you'll have that aha. Last thing, a couple of things actually. Number one, I'll tell you a story at the end of this video, something so you guys can kind of understand where I came from. And then make sure you comment underneath the videos that I shoot. And if you have anything to say, go ahead and say it. If you have any questions about anything, please put those in the comments because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take whoever has the most amount of likes. So let's say I get 50 different comments, the comment or the question that gets the most likes, I'll do a video and that way you guys can actually help steer the direction of this channel and help you guys out. Number two, you know, why did I do this channel? Because life was too hard for me and I didn't want it to be that hard for everybody else. I had uh, a spinal injury when I was in college. And then when I got older, uh, you know, I did manual labor and stuff. And at some point it just, it went out. It's like somebody hit me with a hatchet and I was bedridden for eight years. And it was pretty much like being in a coma. And I, I have a chemistry degree. I was pre-med and I did manual labor. You know, I had my own remodeling company because I hated the system, I hated it. You know, none of it made sense. The people were awful. You know, people expected tons of work, all of it being perfected and for pay that was literally less than I made at summer jobs when, you know, I was in college. So after eight years, my credit was wrecked. And every time that I had a new surgery coming up, my ex-wife would take me to court. And I got divorced. I, I never wanted to put my kids through that, but I got divorced because my my wife had an affair. And it was very detrimental to my kids. She told us at dinner in front of our children, which was very difficult for me. And I said, this should be a talk for later, and I'm not doing this to put her down because I've forgiven her this long time ago. But the fourth time I was having my last surgery where I had six screws and two rods put in, and I had three surgeons write to court and say, and just so you know, my kids lived with me and went to school where I did. You know, we had a dissolution because of what happened. You know, that relationship didn't work out for her. So, you know, basically we had split custody and the kids lived with me and lived with her and they went to school where I was and this was the way it was for about 12 years. The result is the fourth time the Three surgeons wrote and they said, look, Cole cannot possibly go to court eight days after having the surgery done. You're going to have to give him an extension. They didn't do it. And because they had more money, they took my children away from me after 12 years. And my kids were at court when this happened. And my son said, I'm going with my dad because dad's house is where it's safe. And I'm not going to go into the other stuff, but I think you can figure out what's going on. The police told my children, if you go with your dad, we will throw your dad in jail. And my kids had to go. And I didn't get to see them for any holidays or Christmases or Father's Day ever since then. My credit was wrecked after all those years in a bed. I had to re equilibrate to society, being around people, you know, getting used to being in front of people again. Yeah, it was hard to start this YouTube channel. The thing is, is that if you just keep doing it, sooner or later, you just get used to it. And they talk about getting out of your comfort zone. I'm not asking anybody to do anything that, you know, makes them feel really bizarre. 
But if you just try a little bit every day, and that's what I'm telling you, stick with the channel, minimize social media. Everything that goes in your mind starts to manifest in the real world in the ether, in the other dimension. Which means that the 3,500 advertisements you see every single day, each one of those creates a thought. And that's why if I said, hey, do you want a soda? You would instantly go, yeah, I want a blah, blah, blah. Because you've heard it enough times, you know, you like it. It's called branding, that's marketing. I use social media more like a one way. I use it to reach out to people, to help people. And whatever comes back, if there are comments and somebody wants something great, if it's a discussion that gets into an argument or any of that other stuff, I don't even engage. Don't waste your time, don't waste your energy. You know, there's an old Native American saying, each person has two wolves. You have a good wolf and a bad wolf inside. And the little Indian boy said, well, which wolf wins? And he said, whichever one you feed the most. Don't feed fear and hatred because it will bring fear and hatred back to you. So basically, after all that time, you know, I lost my kids, I lost my health, I couldn't get a place to live because my credit was wrecked. I ended up becoming homeless. I lived in a tent for, gosh, I don't know, probably six months, and then in my car for another six months. And I remember one time in the winter, it was like three or, three or four degrees outside I was in Indiana, and my heater stopped working. A little heater in the tent that I plugged in. I was staying at a friend's house in the woods out in the country. And I thought I was going to freeze to death, and I would have. So I had to buy a, I had to go to Walmart and buy a second, second heater. I don't want you guys to have to go through that. I don't want you to have to, you know, use the restroom in a bucket in the woods, you know, live in a tent. And that's where things are going. Things are getting worse not better however at the same time if you see if you see the statistics and the commonalities and you use your intuition then it's also the most massive time in the world that you can generate wealth because you have the biggest machine ever built at your fingertips and it's called the internet and i grew up before the internet existed when I was three years old, I was riding a motorcycle in the woods. That's why I shoot these videos in the woods. I love the woods. You get away from the city. People aren't meant to live in an asphalt jungle. So anyway, the purpose of this story is, you know, I've been through heartbreak. I've been through divorce. My house almost got foreclosed. I declared bankruptcy. I was homeless, almost died. You know, I've had uh, people threaten me. I had the, the attorney in my court case actually threaten to beat me up. You know, and all this crazy stuff. And I even recorded all that. I played it for the court. And I said, I won't talk to an attorney that, uh, that threatens me. I want them removed from the case. They wouldn't do it. The system doesn't care if your kids are beaten or starved. They don't care. They don't care if you're homeless and dying. You know, I was on disability. They took it away because they said I had a treatment and I was all better. And I said, what treatment? Based on what evidence? They don't have any money left. That's what it is. And I had 1,800 claims. It shouldn't take three and a half, four years, 1,800 claims and four surgeries for someone to believe that you actually have a disability. And thank God after the fourth one, you know, I was able to get vertical again for the first time in eight years. So that's why I do this channel. I do this channel because you guys deserve to live your dreams. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're from, I don't care what language you speak, I don't care what your sexual preference is. People do what they want. My motto is this, if you do what makes you happy and it's not hurting anybody else, do it. And that just rolls right back to what I was saying. Ask your friends, ask your family, what is it you're good at? What do you love to do? What do you love to talk about? You stay with this channel, do what I do, Ask the questions. I'll make videos about your questions. You'll get all the free mentorship that I can possibly do. And we'll grow this channel and we'll free as many people from this system as we can possibly do because it is a meat grinder of souls. And you don't deserve that. I didn't deserve that. I was a great dad. I've never hit my kids. You know, my kids have actually come to me and said, I wish that your dad was to you like you are to us. And that just made me feel great. I remember the first time I'm my birthday that my son wrote a great post 
and he talked about how happy he was that I was his dad and that I had taught him how to tell the truth, how to find out his, all, his own information. And I'll leave you with this. I don't expect anybody to believe anything I say. I always speak the truth. I know that, but other people don't know that. I don't expect anybody to believe what I say, but I expect everybody to believe what I can prove with evidence. Or when I went to court, it was admissible evidence under the court of law. So if you guys have questions about anything, I'd be more than happy to provide links and you can go research your own stuff. Let me know. This channel is all about benefiting every individual. Nobody left behind. Pay it forward. Everybody knows there's something wrong with this world. The young people got it figured out. People that are older than me, I'm getting ready to turn 46. They're still brainwashed in the old age. Trust me, I'm an outcast for the stuff that I do, but I do it anyway. I do it anyway, even though, you know, I don't have anybody to talk to. I don't have any brothers or sisters, only child, only grandchild. And, you know, I don't have any anybody that cared. I, you know, when I was homeless, I asked and it didn't matter. So I'm going to be that for you guys. I'm going to help you guys do that. I also have a great video that I'm getting ready to shoot. And then I'm going to end this is... I'm going to show you how you can get a Visa debit card and you can use it to spend cryptocurrency and completely work outside the banking system of the World Banks. I know everybody, everybody hates getting charged $30 for an overdraft fee or something that didn't happen. And I believe last year, $3.2 billion was made from overdraft fees or non-sufficient fund return checks. $3.2 billion was made from the people that are the poorest, the people that had no money. It's basically like going and robbing a homeless guy of his cardboard or his jacket or his fire. It's ridiculous. That none of that stuff should happen. It should never happen. So anyway, thank you again, 105 subscribers. Recap, Wednesday at 7. It's all Eastern time. Saturday at 1. Sunday at 7 p.m. Wednesdays, not sure what I'm going to do yet. Saturday is going to be wealth. Sundays is going to be twin flame and relationship self stuff. So I guess Wednesdays will probably be more health related about some really cool stuff that I learned about how you can improve your health and how your body really works metaphysically. And whether or not these are all ideas, whether or not these things you actually believe in them, try them out. Because if you try them out and the working model that you have actually makes your life better, then it doesn't really matter, does it? What matters is it benefited you. So... And the second thing, we'll get into some really cool stuff. I'll have some videos about all kinds of magic, black magic, gray magic, white magic. We'll go over all the religions from the Cabal to the Hermetic Principles to the Emerald Tablets of Dove to Demonology, Satanism, Hinduism, Taoism, you know, Atheism, all that stuff. If you have the right mindset, it's really all the same. What makes the difference is the person and how they take it. And what the key is and whatever you believe is what you receive and what you believe you're worthy of is what you'll get you're all worthy of everything that you want because you came here to have an experience and people have hoodwinked all of us so anyway I'll talk to you guys later in another video it's cold with barbed wire digital eight don't forget to subscribe click the bell notification that way you get an little pop up on the bell each time I do a new video and tune in for my live cast. Be sure to comment. I want to make sure that uh, whoever gets the highest amount of comments or likes, I'll shoot a video for you guys because I'm here to help you out. So blessings to you from your Ho'oponopono practitioner and metaphysician, Colburn McWhorter. Have a great day. Take care and blessings. Bye now.